Hey everyone, welcome back to Tap Tech. If you're passionate about cutting edge gear and love getting ahead of the curve, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into what could very well become the next legendary flagship camera from Nikon, the rumored Nikon Z92. Imagine a camera that not only meets every professional need but pushes boundaries. That's what the Z92 is promising. While Nikon hasn't officially announced every detail yet, the leak's an insider talk point to some game-changing features. And today, we'll unpack them, spec by spec, and explore what it means for you. Let's jump right in. From what we're hearing, Nikon is targeting a late 2025 or early 2026 launch window for the Z92. That timeline fits Nikon's cadence of flagship development. What's the baseline we start from? The existing Z9 set a high bar, a 45.7 MP stack CMOS sensor, no mechanical shutter, superb autofocus, pro video specs. So the Z92 needs to bring meaningful upgrades. Rumored upgrades include a next-generation sensor, possibly 60 MP or improved readout, a new X8 processor, faster bursts, potentially a hybrid global shutter, advanced AF, and serious video upgrades. Here's a breakdown of the big speculation and why it matters for you. Rumors suggest the Z92 might either increase resolution from 45.7 MP to somewhere in the 60 MP range, or maintain that resolution but with significantly improved speed, dynamics, and low light performance. One widely cited rumor, the camera will deliver 40 frames per second in full 14-bit RAW with no qualifiers or crop. One of the more intriguing rumors, a hybrid global shutter sensor, a sensor that can operate in normal line-by-line -line mode for max dynamic range, and switch to global shutter for zero rolling shutter, flash sync, high-speed capture. If that turns out true, it puts Nikon ahead in a unique class for professionals who demand both stills and video performance. Insiders expect Nikon to include its next-generation image processor, x date in the Z92. This means faster data processing, improved autofocus and subject detection, better heat management, and smoother 8K per 4K video workflows. For premium market users, that matters more than raw megapixels, it means your camera keeps up with demanding work without bottlenecks. Nikon's AF system in the Z9 already impressed. The Z92 is expected to go further, improved subject detection, animals, vehicles, small fast-moving objects, more AF points, even wider frame coverage. For photographers shooting events, weddings, sports or wildlife in premium markets, the AF system is often the difference between missing the shot and delivering excellence. Rumors point to enhanced video, internal 10-bit, or higher, 4K-120p, 8K at higher frame rates, perhaps even 12-bit internal recording or advanced codecs like ProRes RAW. For premium creators, in film, commercial, high-end content, having video features that match stills performance is crucial. The Z92 appears to lean into that. The Z9 body is already built for professionals, robust, weather-sealed, excellent handling. For the Z92 we expect incremental improvements, lighter weight materials, Better ergonomics for long shooting sessions, perhaps a fully articulating screen, improved connectivity, e.g., 5G, faster wired tethering, dual card slots with hybrid options. Professional workflows demand professional level connectivity. Rumors suggest Nikon might offer hybrid CF Express Type B slash SD slots, maybe support for USB C power delivery charging, advanced tethering options. While no official number exists yet, most expect a high-end pricing tier, likely body only north of US$5,500, perhaps much more depending on specifications in the market. If you already own a Z9 and are considering an upgrade, the Z92 might finally offer enough extra to justify it. If you shoot commercial work, paid gigs, high-end video, broadcast or wildlife, this could be your workhorse for years. If you're invested in the Nikon Z mount ecosystem, lenses, adapters, accessories, the Z92 keeps you in Nikon's pro zone rather than switching brands. Future proofing a camera that can handle the next 5 7 years of technological demands is worth premium investment. A few caveats and things to watch. 
These are rumors and while many industry insiders expect a late 2025 slash early 2026 announcement, nothing is confirmed yet. Premium market buyers must weigh whether incremental improvements over the E. Existing Z9 justify the premium price. Lens ecosystem and accessories matter. If new features demand new cards, new cooling accessories or new workflows, your upgrade cost might be higher than body price alone. Heat management, firmware support, service, these are all important for high-end users. Nikon's track record will count. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive into the Nikon Z9 II. If you're serious about your craft and ready to invest in premium gear, this could be a breakthrough moment. Drop a comment below and let me know what feature you're most excited about burst speed, global shutter, autofocus, or video capabilities. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Tap Tech, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss when we cover the official announcement. Until next time, keep creating, keep pushing your gear and your vision, and I'll see you in the next one.